Finally, Queso has come back with another reaction. And today, 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 we're reacting to BTS uh, explained by a Korean. After reacting to BTS uh, lyric video, they told me, and I'm gonna have that pinned in this video. Go check it out at the end. Everybody, the most common comment, common comment, I like that. Anyways, the most common comment was, check out the explained video by a career because if you like that this is what you need in your life okay so when i said i got you my dog appreciate everybody who's hit that subscribe button i can finally say i am the realest new with four thousand subscribers my dog let's talk about it and i appreciate everybody who's checked out my newest music video warrant i'm gonna have that pinned bing 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 at the end of this video too. So without any further ado, before I break it down, break it down, hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Hey, how are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Cause if you don't subscribe, your granny sucks toes. Let's go. We popping off. So here we have another clever song from the BTS rap line spitting out fire, just like Dang. I like heard they the lyrics. The song was to diss haters and crush them. Well, I would say that is maybe like 50% right. It's actually deeper than that. That's so, so funny. That For some reason, I just felt like they was really riding on their haters. I don't know what it... Ooh, uh, like, I could just feel it in my heart. Like, yeah, F the ops, man. <laughs> I'm into the real meaning of the song. <laughs> Crack the sparks, fly up, they swallow before the fuel has been added without a doubt, bond to be swept away. saying that the haters are starting to get triggered again, and they get triggered so fast that even before the actual fuel is poured, they ignite and burn themselves. It means that haters overreact and blow things out of proportion with the smallest details. And in oh, that process, shit! They that they're actually hurting themselves with all the negativity. <laughs> These niggas is... Yo, the dopest thing about other languages, when you translate it directly in English, you know, most of the time, direct translation isn't what it means. So it'll be like a metaphor or something like that. A lot of other languages use proverbs and stuff like that. This is so wrong. This is so wrong. This nigga say you hurting yourself by getting triggered by that. Come on, man. <laughs> Now he's being sarcastic and calling the haters a pro, a player that enters mm. the ring with a trivial little flaw and keeps on biting on that and doesn't let go, making a big fuss out of it. So Dongnebuk is literally <laughs> translated as I... neighborhood drum. This is a Korean expression that means a drum that anybody can hit on, basically meaning an easy target or person to shit on. Dongdongdong is how Koreans pronounce the sound of a drum. <laughs> What the Bro, if you are able to be this saucy, have this much flow, swagger, and still have lyrical content, come on, man. Niggas ain't really touching these BTS boys over here. Mm. The haters keep on poking with no reason, like a boxing player that keeps on jabbing. And if Suga keeps on ignoring them, they start to stab him. This expression is actually a very hardcore slang used by Korean gangs when they stab people with knives. The original word tamguda would mean to put an object into a liquid, usually okay. used in terms of kimchi or salted seafood called chokkar. The common thing about these kimchi. foods is that they are all red, liquidy, and they go inside jars. After oh! You got, you got the urn. Oh yeah, we reacted to more BTS. They got me. They got me. These niggas is cold. You can see why gangs would use this word in that kind of way. And poo is a word that expresses the action of stabbing into something very deep and powerfully. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> they, the, the well-dressed gangster. You gotta appreciate a well-dressed gangster, man. Now, notice that the mimetic words dung, 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 tuk, tuk, and puk, puk all rhyme with ooh and each other. And they Killing them on the onomatopoeias. Come on, man. To jabbing 
and stabbing. So haters start off trying to tease and make fun of Suga, but when he doesn't respond, they start jabbing and stabbing him. The truth Escalate. becomes a lie, a lie becomes the truth. It's funny to see everyone suddenly becoming a morally perfect and flawless human being. And yeah, I know a little bit about this too, and it seems like the typical characteristics of many online communities and platforms with people that have nothing better to do in real life than Where spread is that squeaking hate coming from? Is that, is that, oh, it's from the video. I'm like, bro, I got an owl in this bitch. Yo, that is so real. He said, where are you to stand on this moral high ground? Now, now, now you perfect, cause you the man in the comments. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Oh, come on now. Get a life, guys. Rage is supposed to be for Friday, the reason it just might be our history. states that rage is an actual emotion that is sometimes needed. He says Facts. that people have the right to get mad at certain things. And Facts. that might be our history. The word history can be used in general terms, as in a nation or the world's history, or in terms of BTS themselves, like how their success and legacy was motivated and accomplished through anger. But overall, RM acknowledges the fact this that... This dude's really good at breaking this down. Now, Korea is a nation full of rage against many surrounding countries that invaded and colonized our land. Also, don't forget the most recent incident of rage impeached our former president as well. These things get political too? But he says that the anger that heads towards him is not punno rage, but punyo human waste, pee pee and poo poo. He says that <laughs> We gotta write that back. Tim is not punno rage, but punyo human waste, pee pee and poo poo. He says that haters are actually killing anger with their fake anger, and numerous people Facts. are tired of that. All it this, that all these fake outcries, all these PC pussies, all these internet bandits, thumb thugs. Come on, man. This, this. Bro, BTS talking that real shit, man. This negative energy or anger about stupid things haters throw around in the world is actually devaluating the power and impact of the word anger. It's not just us you're killing. It's us we used to be stepping on shit. Look at those people who have become numb. Feces and difference. Keeps on <laughs> they call them shit. Your anger is not just killing us. We're used to that shit anyways. But the real problem is that people are getting insensitive about the emotion anger itself. Mm. Since it's so normalized and thrown towards them and in every direction. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yo, this nigga got gem. Why, 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 why do we ask people questions waiting for them to respond a certain way then get angry? How many people, why did we ask little Boosie about Dwayne Wade's son, daughter, whatever you deserve? Yo. Mm. Then the rap line goes, ooh. Ook is a Korean term that describes the state of blood suddenly rushing to your head in a second right after you see something infuriating. So it's like, usually used towards people who don't know how to keep their temper and are hot-headed. BTS cleverly translated ook into ugh, very similar to how it sounds in English. Mm. Haters? Well, not exactly. They're actually mad because of the anger that contains malice. At this point, they don't care about what haters shit on them anymore. They're angry about the fact that this pure emotion called anger is being used in such a malicious way to hurt them or others, which result in nothing else but harm. It mm. doesn't change the world or history, and that's why they bring up the word punyo, human waste, because anger is becoming wasted. Yo, these niggas swaggy, man. Then J-Hope goes on and says that he's angry about the anger that got extinguished. In accordance with the previous lyrics, this means that J-Hope is angry that at some situations when anger was truly needed, okay. like a protest or a good cause or whatever, it died out and didn't meet its final goal. Where were you at when we needed it? Y'all want to be mad at some pop stars. Like BTS themselves or, for example, DKDK TV. They don't care, and we don't care either, but if that energy were to be gathered and used for a meaningful cause, 
the anger could actually make an improvement in the world. That's Basically, such a gem, bro. If we, sp I heard something that says, if all of the great, like, in theory, if all the great minds in the world that use the internet, or got together on the internet and used it for something, we could find a cure to every disease, whether it was like within a matter of months. You know that 90, I think it's 3% of the internet's used for porn? And y'all niggas asking Boosie about Dwayne Wade, son. Come on, man. Stop shitting on Twitter and throwing your anger at random people and make that anger useful and make yourself useful. In general, they go on promoting anger. They say be angry about things that are not just in this society. That's However, facts. to the haters, this line has a sarcastic double meaning. It's basically saying, yeah, be go mad. off, go off as be much mad. as you can until you become Are you mad, mad huh? Yourself. Whatever, I don't give up. These niggas sort of gangster, too. He tell him, get mad. He understands that anger is a powerful emotion that moves and rules the world. But then he says that some people these days just can't live without being angry. They're just facts. They need it. It's the fuel. Little thing. And it's the fuel crazy. that keeps them going. Once again, he points out Ooh, that there like. are thousands of reasons to get angry about. Either if it's Facts. for good or bad, it is anger. He says mm. that unleashing your anger is okay, but he doesn't like the anger that harms other people's lives. So he urges haters to stop that. <laughs> this is Jay, right? Someone's actions can hurt someone, and someone's words can make someone lose hope, and someone's blink of an eye can become a moment for someone. Someone's anger can cost even the life of someone. Sugar spits out of disgust. Although these lines are universal and it applies to all of us, here in particular in this song, because they went to the extent of mentioning a life, Personally, I think they had in mind of the tragic incidents that happened in K-pop last year. Stupid and useless actions, words, mockery, and anger were wasted on such meaningless things about idols and celebrities mm. that some of these celebrities were forced to make a very unfortunate decision. If you think this is a stretch, then you should listen to the next verse. What's wrong with love hate? If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, nigga. This part is an impersonation of haters and netizens. These jobless people keep on saying stuff such as, what's the big deal about getting some insults? You guys deserve it because you guys make a whole lot of money anyways. So stop complaining. It's a toll for being famous. So just suck it up. This, this is, is the common nice. line that many netizens would say whenever a celebrity brought up how they are suffering from or are planning to sue hate comments. Well, hold on. That nigga say you was gonna ha sue hate comments? <laughs> they cut though for that that's real man people are people at the end of the day you dealing with real life people you i read comments you know what i'm saying i read a comment sometimes i see something i'll be like man fuck you but like i can only imagine what it is when when you have millions of millions of fans these things still affect you Sometimes, you know, I'm starting to learn the power of like, okay, it's just somebody on the internet, but man, if a million people at once said, fuck me, if a million people at once said something, I'd be mad. I would be mad. We're people. This is flesh. Try me. Just let me be in your place. Let me be an idol, and I'd be able to deal with all of that is what the haters keep on saying. Justifying the hate comments and undermining the pain celebrities oh, have just because they call it out of publicity. Then this the is deep as fuck! Ahem. Now this sound or word is used in English as well, simply to clear out your throat or show that you're present or give an invisible message to somebody who's dumb, who's not able to read the atmosphere. Okay. Or to nullify the awkwardness after saying something embarrassing and on like, 
<clears throat> something like that. Anyways, as you see a lot of ahems in this part, I would say that all the usages in context would actually fit in. However, just to add one extra point of view as a Korean, the sound ahem <coughs> was mostly used by yangban or gondes in Korea. So yangban what are is those? a privileged noble class during the Goryeo Joseon dynasty that knew how to read Chinese and study Korean. Bro, this nigga's good! This is a this nigga's very good at this. Merchants, farmers, and slaves. These young buns would use the word <clears throat> in diverse situations, like when they needed their servants or when they would scold them or try to show off their nobleness. Bro, this like a movie. This is a. <laughs> That looked a little crazy, Paul. Okay, Barry, we gotta skip through this. I don't want. I don't. I don't need this in my life right now. Let's hold my fucking move. To give nunchi, which is a Korean thing that basically means figure out what I mean or what I want without me having to say it with my own mouth. The magic word would be him. And everybody would have to shut up. And Dang, this nigga really so going in on what ahem means. Complex usage and nuance in it. But basically, it would be best if you understood it as these internet keyboard warriors who think they are morally perfect, better than Facts. sitting on their high horses, trying to shush you and give you nunchi and say, suck it up. <laughs> so yeah, you could replace the ahems with the words like, suck it up, get over with it, or shut up. <laughs> While BTS is receiving <laughs> all these things ahem. this but nigga really just went on ahem for five minutes anger against how people these days waste their precious anger emotions time and energy and stupid things like mocking celebrities bts and internet figures and on which sometimes lead to tragic incidents this nigga but rambling this a little bit actually this nigga definitely rambling he had to get his watch time right i feel him or positivity Alright, Playboy. Hope is not a direct diss song about the haters because it seems like BTS has elevated to a level where they don't even care anymore about human trash. It's bigger than the haters. Nigga it's called a them human trash. <laughs> for itself and a layman on the modern day social contextual usage or waste of anger. Yo, this this video, this video has literally just made me a BTS fan. That shit was dope, super complex. They deserve a lot of respect for being pure lyricists. Very, very great song composers, writers. I'm excited. I'm now a fan of BTS. This is a, they are incredibly dope. I'm out.